Welcome to an empty house or an empty home or something. This is made by Modus Interactive in case you didn't see the actual uh, introduction for it. So, whoa. Holy crap. Anyway, yeah, welcome back to another three. Oh, goodness me. You know what? Welcome to the technically first um, three spooky games. Not doing three random games anymore, but three spooky games. Okie dokie. This is. Oh, very nice. Look at that. Wait, that's getting closer. That is 100% getting closer. Or. No, is it retracting now? Is retracting. That is legitimately absolutely cool. Wait, if I just stay here. Oh my god, what the hell? Whoa. Okay. Um. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> okay. Well, you, you can definitely tell that this is a very, very uh, spoopy game. And I think the last uh, game that we played by Modus Interactive was actually Siren Head. And that was bloody amazing. What is going on with this house? Can we... What the heck? Can we not look inside? Are we really not able to look inside? What is going on in there? Okie dokie. Well, yeah, this is definitely an empty house. Should I just keep on looking at it and, like, see where it takes me? To be fair, I really, really do like how it's kind of doing that. So if I just keep it here... Is it making up the word empty house? This is so cold, but weird. I'm not going to move one bit. I'm not even going to, like, look around one bit. How the hell did you make this, man? This is bloody good. I think this might be the end of it? Maybe? I don't know. I think the whole point of this was just to look at the sun, maybe? No idea. Okie dokie. Now it's all changed. I literally just tried to. It's... <laughs> what? Okay. Well, that happened. Okay, so welcome to silence. Okie dokie. We've got a lovely door. Let's go ahead and play. You finally came down, as expected. Keep going down until you find a door. When you do, open it and come further. Take any key that you've, you will find. However, it won't be easy. You see, there are some friends down there. I must warn you, they're not too fond of meeting new people. Some will ignore you, while the other... How do I put it? Thirsty. I hope this won't be an inconvenience. Use the re radar to spot them. They're shy after all. Have fun. Okie dokie, I surely will have fun. Collect the key while avoiding any contact. Holy shit. This looks neato. Damn. Wait, do we even know what key it looks like? Or what the key looks like? Oh, we've got bins. Biohazard bins, or just hazardous bins? I just realised, I've got this radar. <laughs> so, wait, one of them is... Wait... What's... Wait, whoa, what the hell? Disposable. What? Hang on a minute. So you can't actually see them in game, but you can see them on the radar. Oh, and you can even run it, run too, that's cool. So this is the door, right? I need a key. Okay, so the enemies are through here. How do you even avoid them? Oh, there's an enemy over there. Maybe if I just keep on walking or something, maybe I... 
Oh god, 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 oh god. This is actually pretty neat. Not gonna lie. It's actually Okay, so that one's over there! Woohoo! That was close. That was very close. Okay, so we haven't been inside of here yet. That one's still fucking following me. Shit. Oh my god, and that one's over there. Shit. God, this is actually really good. I didn't realize that. I. I didn't realize I'd be playing a good game. So I've got to make sure that I get back into. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No, oh my god. Why am I, why am I talking American? <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not even American. God, okay. Uh, right. Okay, gotta be super duper whooper whooper duper duper looper careful. So there's one over there. And, oh, inside there. Wait, hang on a minute. If I go down here, please don't tell me that there is one down here, please. Shit! Oh crap, can I just go around? Okay, this might be actually harder than I thought. Alright, welcome to the last game, and it's called The Upside Down 2. I think things are gonna get pretty strange around here. Oh my god, I hate that ringtone. Oh, I hate it so much. Just reminds me of my one, I think. I don't know. Well, most ringtones. Most phones have the ringtone. Yeah, I think it's like the default one. God. Okay, turn off your- f yes, please, I want to so badly, come on! Okay. Done. Okie dokie. Let's get my morning routine. Um, okay. Grab some cereal from the kitchen. Okie dokie. Okay, so I've got my cereal. Bring cereal to bowl. <laughs> this is going good so far. Okay. Whoa! Okay, now what? Brush my teeth now, I guess. Okay, so we're now at the place to brush our teeth. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay, well, work's gonna start soon. Need my suitcase. Okay, suitcase from living room. Aha! When did you have your TV like that? Or was it always like that? I may never know. Okay, grab it. Okay, cool. Um. Um. I, oh, and leave. Oh, right, yeah, sorry. I was waiting for the next instructions, but the instructions were already there. And now we're out here. I guess I'm the only one here. Oh, we're at work now, are we? Okay, get in your office. Uh, which one's my office? Oh, this one? Um. It, I guess it's not that one. Why am I not able to run, dude? Like, wait, how did I get here if there's no door over there? <laughs> wait, did we just walk through walls or something? Are we like SCP-106? <laughs> okay, so this is my office, I'm guessing. Okay, lovely office. Let's get to our computer. Stop. Oh, come on. This literally reminds me of Five Nights at Freddy's. Go to the power room. Well, I'm guessing the power room is literally that door that we just tried to go into, right? I'm gonna guess so. I have no idea how we have literally the speed of, like, a turtle right now, but, um... Okie dokie. Um... Yeah, that's totally normal. <laughs> what the hell? Um... When was this here? Yeah. When was that here? Um... Should we walk through it? Okay, apparently we do. Um, That doesn't look creepy. What the heck could that possibly- Is that like a- Oh, is that like- Circuit? Maybe. Yeah, actually no, it doesn't look like a circuit, to be fair. Okay. So, here we go. Um, I guess I can go back? Yeah. Sure, let's do that. Excuse me. Wait, uh, wait, uh, uh, 
God, a lot of people were screaming. Jesus, in the red sky. The absolute red sky. Oh, I, oh, I don't like that sound. I don't like that sound at all. We're going to drop into there. Can't we jump, man? I want to jump. I guess we walk into there, right? We walk over it. Wait. Okay, so we can somehow float then. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the air raid siren head thingy, and this is a lovely walkway. This is a very very long walkway. Just why is our walking literally the speed of a bloody turtle? Not gonna lie, because I'm on this walkway, it's really giving me the paranoia that there's something literally that's gonna like spawn over there and actually chase after me. I literally feel like that so much. It kind of reminds me of um, the open house, the virtual open house, when like you walk down this corridor and then you had someone technically chase after you, but not really. Okay, we're slowly getting to the end of this. <laughs> and we're finally there. Okay, so now what? Hmm. Okay, this is only my second game, and I know it's, it's not bad. I mean, it can definitely be improved, but it's not bad, dude. Don't just don't defeat yourself like that, okay? I'm sorry this was short. Not gonna lie, it was alright. I mean, I played short games before, but that was alright. So guys, that was it of this video of three spooky games. I thought, you know, I, I do three random games a lot, but technically I play mostly scary games, so I might as well just call the series three spooky games, or... Well, because there are people who are doing three scary games like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye, I don't want to copy them. Even though that's technically what I'm already doing. <laughs> I thought, you know, I'd just call my series three spooky games instead of like three horror games or three scary games. So, yeah. The first game... Oh, wait, what was the first game? The first game was actually cool because, of course, it's modeless interactive. Like, still, I have no idea what even went on there, but it was actually pretty cool, kind of interesting and weird at the same time, but... Yeah, the colours and the the sounds, the, the the atmosphere in that was just really, really nice. Silence. Um, that one was actually pretty cool as well. I just found it a bit, a bit hard. Yeah, a bit hard. The Upside Down 2, I mean, to be fair, there is an Upside Down 1, of course, because you can't have one without two. No, so you can't have two without one. I have not played Upside Down 1 because probably because it's worse than this one. So I thought I'd try out Upside Down 2 to see if it's, I don't know, good. I mean, to be fair, it is actually pretty good. It actually influences me or kind of inspires me to actually continue on making a game of mine because I've been held back a lot because of like just random ideas that are thrown into my head and I just can't like put them out onto like a game but that has inspired me so dude even though your game was short and it's and you're saying it's bad even though it's not actually that bad you've actually inspired me so that's cool anyway that has been it for this video if you guys enjoyed leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye everybody